Hi there folks, we're back again with another Excel video and uh, let me give you a little background on this uh, this quick improvement that we were able to do for a client of ours. Uh, we, we got a call from a, a speech therapist who has an Excel sheet that she keeps a list of her tasks in. And this isn't her sheet, but this is something similar that we've created so that you can uh, take this solution and use it in your own lists that you might have. Uh, basically, there's a dashboard here that you'll see, and that's how many of the tasks are complete, how many are left to do, how many total there were, and the percentage complete. So a dashboard is basically an area you can look to get all the pieces of information that are important for you. You don't have to look at the finite details and count each number of your data. You can just look right over here on your dashboard and see what you need to know. And so over here you'll see an item number, a name, and a complete yes or no. So we're gonna put a sheet together like this, similar to this, and you can um, use it for chores, you can use it for uh, maybe tasks around the house, uh, tasks that you do at work daily. Uh, there's, there's many different options that you could use a list like this, but the point is, we automated it to keep it from being repetitive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click over here on a, a, a new tab and we're gonna go ahead and just eliminate all of this. And so now we've got everything set up and we're gonna build that. Now we've done some things like freeze these cells and we're just gonna fill in um, the columns here. And so you'll see there's our item number. And if we remember, we had a name here and then we had a complete. Oh, it looks like we got a, a conditional formatting going on. So we wanna remove that, okay? Um, and, and the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to clear that, okay? And, and now you'll notice that up here, we wanna put in complete yes or no. Now what we did here, as you, you saw before, is we added a conditional formatting. And, and the way that you can do that is we just select on this column right here, and we're gonna go up to data, and go to data validation, and we're gonna select a yes here. And what data validation will do is it'll allow us to create a list um, that will only look for, or only give us the option to select yes in here, okay? So we choose list, and then we enter in yes, and we're gonna hit okay. So now if we go back, you'll notice that all we can do is put in yes. If we try to put in maybe, it gives us that exception again. We can't do it. We can only put in yes, okay? So that's all set up. We've got the format there. Now let's add some numbers for our item. So we just do a simple one, two, three, and then if you remember, we can just grab this, drag it down. We're gonna stick with 10 pieces of data on this one. Now we're gonna start populating some of the other stuff here in the dashboard, which is the main part of our spreadsheet. This is gonna be where we're gonna look for our pieces of information. So we're just gonna enter that in, and then what we'll do is we'll delete um, our formulas and we'll go ahead and input them together, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the total now this is the total number of tasks that we have to do. So to get this number, we're gonna enter a formula, which always starts with equal, like you'll see there. And then we're just gonna select uh, column A right there. And, oh, I'm sorry. We gotta first enter our count formula. And if we can spell it right, then we'll get that. And, and then our value is gonna be column A. We don't need value two because the count formula will only look for these numbers. It won't count the blanks or anything with text and it. it'll just count the numbers. So we can go ahead and close that cell or that bracket and we hit enter and we see a number 10 pop up. Now let's see what happens if we add some more numbers. And we'll see 
that each time we add a number, this total changes. So it automatically counts uh, just like we wanted it to. So we're gonna stay with 10 pieces of data and we're just gonna format this so that um, whenever we put a number in that it's always centered. So again, our 11, it's gonna automatically count in the total there. Okay, now we've got some names, if you remember. So we're just gonna come back here and we'll highlight these and copy them using Control C. And we'll come back to Sheet 4 and we're gonna just put them in by clicking on Control V for paste. And it looks like we raised our bracket, so we'll just clean that up a little bit. And there's the 10 names of the people with the tasks that we had to do. Now we've got our complete uh, column set up already. We did the data validation, if you remember on that. So now we need to use a formula to know how many are complete. Now there were some pieces of data on here that you didn't see, and uh, you'll notice now that in this cell is a yes. And it's kind of hidden just to keep everything pretty. So we're gonna come back up here we're gonna put a yes in here, and we're doing that for a reason. We're gonna actually use that here. So we're gonna to go to our complete cell on our dashboard, and we'll again hit our, an equal sign. And this time we're gonna use a count if function. And we're gonna give an open bracket. Now the range, if you remember, is just where this formula is gonna look for the piece of criteria that we ask it to. So we want it to look in column C right here. Okay, so we're gonna select the whole thing so that we don't ever have to worry about it again. And then we'll hit a comma. And now it wants to know what's the criteria I'm looking for that I will count. And so our piece of criteria that we did our data validation on was this word, yes. So we just wanna select that, and now Excel will look for that yes in there. And we're gonna close the bracket, and you'll see that it didn't find any. So we have zero there, okay? Now one thing we wanna do with this formula, because we don't want it to look for anything else, is we wanna just click right up here on that D1, which is the criteria that it's looking for, and we're gonna lock that by pushing F4, and that'll give us those two dollar signs, so it's only gonna look for yes in this cell, okay? Now let's see what happens when we come back and we change a couple of our options to yes. Look what's happening there. You see that number in complete is starting to go up. That's because Excel is now seeing yes, and so every time we put a yes in there, it's saying that we've completed the task associated with this item number. So that is now automated for your list. But we need a couple of other pieces of information to get this percentage. Uh, the main one that we need is this to do right here. So to get that to do, we need to know the total amount which is right here, minus the completed amount, and we'd like it also to be automated. So we're just gonna put in a, a basic formula for this, and we're going to hit the equal sign, and then we're going to select our total number, which in this case is 10, and then we're going to subtract our completed number, and that'll give us the remaining number to do. In this case, we have five left to do. Now, we wanna lock these numbers out also because we don't wanna use anything else. So if you remember how we did that, we clicked on the number, the cell reference, and we push F4, and you'll see those dollar signs show up. So we're gonna do that for both numbers. And that means that every single time we change that, our dashboard is going to change also. You'll see that? 
Now we'd like to see a percentage. So the first thing we want to do is select here and we're just going to format that to be a percentage. And then we're going to put in our equal sign because we got a formula. We, we need a formula here and we're just going to use some basic math. We're going to do complete divided by the total and then we're going to hit enter and since we format it with a percentage it's going to automatically do that conversion for us so we'll see that at this point we're 50 percent done now let's see what happens when we change it now we got 60 70 percent done 80 percent done 90 percent done and a hundred percent done hey now, if you remember, we want to lock these out because we don't want it grabbing anything else. So we do that by clicking on the cell reference and pushing F4 again, and we're just going to hit enter. Okay. Now we're going to get rid of these, make sure that our formula is working. Okay. Now we see that we have three left to do. Now let's see if we go way up here what happens. It still counts only the yes. So now we have an automated dashboard and every time we put in a piece of data, we see that we've got the percentage done, which is our number complete, the number left to do, and that's out of the total. So let's see what happens when we add one more. Let's say that this person's name is Trent and Trent has not been done yet. And so you'll notice that our percentage is now at 36 because we only have four of the 11 done. Okay, and we still have seven left to do. And so that'll automatically change. Now let's say we complete Trent and Awesome, now we've got 45% done. So just a simple solution for lists when you have tasks that you're trying to get done throughout the day. And if you don't like this yes sitting up here, there's an easy way to hide that. We're just gonna turn it yellow and you'll never see it. And you just, you might wanna make sure, one thing that we do uh, pretty often is we might just leave a giant cell here and we'll format it and say wrap our text and merge it. And then we say do, or dom in this case, let's see if we can spell, do not change yellow cells. Now we can lock them out, uh, but people can always unlock them and change them. So we just add a little note here that says do not change yellow cells. And then everybody knows that if you change these yellow cells, if you make that choice, there's a possibility that this formula will change and it won't work the same. So that's it for this lesson today. Uh, hopefully that's a good solution for a list you might be storing in Excel to show what's complete and what's not complete and how many you have left to do out of how many and what percentage is done. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you're looking for any more tips in Excel, PowerPoint, or Word, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what it is you're looking for. If we can help you out, we certainly will. If not, we'll do our best to point you in the right direction for a solution. And we're, we're grateful for the opportunity to uh, help each and every one of you. And we appreciate you being here and watching this video. So subscribe down below and you'll be getting some more tips daily if we have an opportunity. Uh, but almost certainly you can count on um, helpful tips coming along regularly. Thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon.